Well, the, uh, the Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Management Education uh, was created more than 40 years ago to uh, accredit the graduate programs in healthcare management. Um, at that time, all of the graduate programs were recognized by the United States Department of Education, uh, which basically recognizes our accreditation process of master's degrees in healthcare management. The purpose, obviously, is to inspire the graduate programs in healthcare management to continually improve, and basically that's what we've been doing for the last 45 years. We basically feel that the quality that the programs aspire to is, in fact, justification for students selecting that pro selecting an accredited program. We currently have 82 graduate programs in 71 universities and colleges in Canada, the United States, and Puerto Rico. And our website receives hits from thousands every month, primarily of prospective students, feeling that accreditation is important if they're going to spend their money to be trained in the field of healthcare administration. There was a feeling when the organization was set up in the 1960s that there was something very unique about hospital administration and running healthcare organizations that were different than your normal for-profit businesses, and that there were different skills that were needed. They combined business skills with public health skills, with skills of social population management, and that these broadened the field and necessitated a definition of a curriculum that really touched a broad number of areas, and that's why the accreditation came about. It basically was to set a standard for which graduate programs could aspire to, you know, basically produce outstanding executives and leaders in the healthcare management field. We do not accredit any totally online programs. Our board of directors, after an extensive study several years ago, determined that when you're in the process of learning management, you have to be in the presence of people and professors part of the time. I have no judgment about online programs. I know many of them are available. We have simply said that to, if you want to be a CAMI accredited program, some of your program must be student to student interaction personally and student faculty interact personally. Accreditation, now this is a, a policy of the United States Department of Education that we follow a policy ourselves that the, the criteria are evaluated significantly every four years. The future of the healthcare management field is very significant. As the population ages, as healthcare becomes more diverse, all the way from very specialized care for children and infants, to chronic care, to end of life care, there are just, in, in, well, obviously products and services and insurance. All of it, I think, speaks to a very robust employment future for both managers and leaders. Now, most of the CAMI accredited programs really are targeted at providing a teaching leadership skills. I know there are many master's degrees who basically say we're teaching managers. Well, ours, our focus is really leadership. It's going to continue to be leadership. I think finding good leaders is always going to be a challenge, but uh, I'm, I'm optimistic.